Alexander Piney has been accused of looking down on his characters in films like Election, Citizen Ruth and Nebraska. I have often found this criticism a little shallow but understandable given the goofy personalities dominating those films and the line between finding people entertaining and mocking them. I bring this up because his latest The Holdover contains not a scintilla of this element of his career. On the contrary, he loves these people. You can feel it in every frame, every line delivery and every plot choice. And in an age of increasing cynicism, I think many people will love them too. Every holiday break, a few kids have to stay over instead of going home which requires a lonely man like Paul to keep an eye on them, even assigning schoolwork because that's really all he knows to do. Through a series of events, the whole overs this break and up being pretty much just Paul, a student named Angus and the head cook Mary. There are three people at very distinct chapter breaks in their lives, but they will influence each other in a heartwarming and genuine way. David Hemingson's script is about those wonderful turns in our lives when a stranger can shift us off in a new direction that we had not considered and how they can come long after we think we are done adjusting. It's got some undeniable cliches, but Piney and his crew find a way to make the life lessons organic, refusing to build their dramedy on predictable plot twist. After all, this one is about the unpredictability of life. If Hyunham is the relaxed further figure of this trio, Mary is the mother, a grief-stricken woman who has just lost her son in the Vietnam War. Randolph is understanding and moving, finding the weight of grief. It just seems harder for her move though the world. I can't imagine the pain of losing a kid, but I believe it would make a lot of dates like quick stand. On the other side of the table, Angus in a 15 years old with reserved but the kind of aggressions that comes with uncertainty. His parents does not want him over the holidays, he is not sure where he goes after baton. It could even be to Vietnam. To say that he reaches out to Hyun Ham for guidance would be an excess generation, but these two initial enemies start to understand one another. Hyun Ham is a man who starts to examine how he got here through the friendship of a young man examining where he is going. All of this does not capture how considerably funny the whole over is from beginning to end. Penny lends into Giamatti's increasability in the early sense in high struggle ways that make it more powerful when those walls starts to fall. Grant Love does not get many loves but knows how to nail a punching when given one. The real stand out here is Cesar who stirs up a beat one note but develops alongside the film. This is one of those acting turns where it feels like you are watching a feature star. He has the energy of both a leading man of a quirky character actor at the same time. You know how it filled with 70s comedies when charms and relatability were key and 
was not a crime. Sisa would have been a star then. He will be one now.